The CDC's pastel green map creates the false impression that the pandemic is over. This is a COVID map from today. This is also a COVID map from today. So how does this happen? And which map is useful to you, a person who does not want to get or to spread COVID? This map, which is almost entirely red, represents COVID transmission per capita. The CDC creates this map by gathering confirmed COVID case numbers from local health departments. It means that most of us are living amid high levels of COVID transmission. And that you may be pretty likely to get and or to spread COVID, especially if you're not using any layers of protection. But even the community transmission map undercounts current COVID transmission. When Congress failed to renew COVID funding this past March, they eliminated financial support for uninsured people to easily access free tests and forced many community testing centers to close. And more people now are using at-home rapid tests, which are almost never reported to local health departments. This means that things are actually somehow worse than this all red map suggests. The CDC introduced this pastel community levels map in February. It's the map you see when you open the CDC website and it's on the CDC social media pages. With this pastel map, it looks like maybe the pandemic is over. It's not. The community levels map is based on calculations that they claim show if COVID is overwhelming our health system. So instead of telling you if you're likely to get or spread COVID, this map tells you whether you could access a hospital bed should you need it. The problem is that by the time this map turns pastel orange, it's already too late to prevent tragic and avoidable deaths, chronic illness, and disability from long COVID. At the People CDC, we want you to know that the community levels map masks the state of the pandemic. It pretends that COVID transmission doesn't matter. It pretends that it's okay for people to continue dying. And it pretends that it's okay for people to keep getting sick even though the CDC itself acknowledged that one in five COVID cases leads to long COVID. We know that the impacts of COVID and the collective trauma it has caused has fallen disproportionately on older, disabled, poor and working class, black, indigenous, and people of color. These communities will continue to suffer the greatest impacts of COVID-19. Find your community transmission map and plan accordingly. Protect yourself and our communities by wearing an N95 grade mask, avoiding crowded indoor spaces, using a HEPA filter, opening windows, and taking activities outside, getting tested, vaccinated, and boosted, and demand a COVID funding and a comprehensive public health approach to ending the COVID-19 pandemic.